Okay, I'll teach you how to solve can can puzzle. And before we go to that, let's just have some tri trivia. So can can and can doku are trademark names for a style of arithmetic and logic puzzle. So this was uh, invented way back 2004 by a Japanese math teacher. Uh, he is Tetsuya Miyamoto. So you might be asking why the name is Ken Ken, and uh, it uh, it's because of the word or the Japanese word which means cleverness, the word Ken. Okay, so how do we solve Ken Ken puzzle? So let's see. This one is an example of a three by three Ken Ken puzzle. So it is a square which is three by three this simply means that the numbers that we can use are actually the digits the digits are one two and three okay so if it's a three by three puzzle again the digits that we can use are the digits one two and three now we can uh, see here some cages when you have a cage like in this case uh, this simply means that if there is a certain number like uh, this one you have two and then division this will simply tell us that the numbers which are supposed to be in this cage is supposed to give us a quotient of two so since you have one and then two as a possible number that you could uh, divide and that gives an answer of two the numbers that you can possibly write in these two boxes are one and two but you have to take note of the other boxes okay so as you notice there is a certain box here wherein there is no operation this simply means that this one is automatically placed here that is already the position of one if there is no operation again the operation would tell us that the numbers in this cage must have either a sum a difference or a product or even the quotient okay so since we put already one here as i have said a while ago the numbers that you should have here is are r1 and 2 therefore the number one will already stay here and the two will be on this box okay it has to follow the same principle uh, like the sudoku and then since the digits that we are only using are one two and three automatically this will give us or this will already be three and this uh cage now has supposed to have a difference of two therefore the number that you will be writing here is one so that three minus one is two and it this must contain the digits one two three therefore we will be having two here and again this is a considered as another cage and uh the number that we will be writing there is uh, three though it's quite obvious because we already have one and two therefore it's only three that oh, oh, that's lacking and then of course we will now have two here and finally to solve our can can puzzle we will be having three okay so that is how we could possibly solve your can can puzzle now let's have some some more examples and we will try to deal with your four by four can can puzzle so as you notice this one is already four by four okay therefore in this case we will be using the digits one two three and four okay now let's look into some clues are there some numbers which are already in their boxes so as you notice there is none so we will try to do it step by step so we have here a product so this cage would tell us that this there, there must be a product of 12 okay and that combination will just be three and four in this case therefore this will take the numbers three and four okay but we do not know where to put the three and the four but if you are going to consider this this one is three divide which means that in this cage if you are going to consider this cage they should have a quotient of 
of uh, three and the only possible combination that we can do there is one and three okay one and three now this will now give us a clue that you we can no longer write three here okay therefore we will be having three here while the number that you will be writing here is four okay and since we already have one three on this uh, part therefore the only number that you can write there is two and of course again since the product that this uh, cage require us is uh, two then we can automatically write there equal to one and since we are getting we are supposed to get a sum of seven here uh, the only combination again that we can get is just the three and four so that simply means that you can have three four here but we do not know yet where to place them okay so look into the other clues like in this case if you will be having the six plus here six plus meaning this cage will give you a sum a supposed sum of uh six and the only possible combination there is four and two okay so if i will put right or i will write four or two on this side that simply means or on this boxes therefore i cannot write your four here anymore so therefore i can just automatically say that this will be three and this will be four okay again i am not yet sure whether i will be writing two and four so i will just put two and four here okay but since you already have three two and four this will now automatically be equal to one and of course the only number which is missing now here is two so i will now have the number two okay the next case since we cannot uh, yet decide whether we will be putting one or two here will be this part okay so we have now to divide which uh, will give us because if you are going to look into this uh, four and two will give us a quotient of two okay so that's one possible combination and so when you have two divided by one okay and that will also e be equal to two but take note that if i will be putting either two and four here i can no longer write it on this part which means that it will uh, give us an idea now that i cannot have the four and two as a combination for this okay and since i already have one here that means to say that i will be placing one here on this side and then this will be two already and since i can no longer put two here automatically this will be four and of course this will now be equivalent to two and this will also answer our question so we have now your one and three so we can no longer write one therefore we will just have the three here and this will be equivalent to one and since we already have looking into the horizontal the only missing number that you have here is four and obviously you have the missing number here is equal to three and if you want to check if you are going to subtract now four and three it will give you a difference of one so that is your four by four can can puzzle okay so this one is quite longer so this is now i uh, know this is supposed to be a five five can can puzzle okay as you as you notice we have one two three four five okay so this is supposed to be a five five so there is a mistake there five by five can can puzzle so you might or you might want to copy this and try to answer again if it is a five by five can can puzzle you should have the digits one two three four and five and see for yourself if you can 
uh, possibly solve for it. Again, if it is like in this case, we have a 3, we can automatically write 3. Okay, here we have 4, so we can automatically write 4. And also with this 2, and then with this 1. Okay, so the, the, those are some clues that you are already given. And you can already try solving. Okay, this will require a lot of time. So try to answer for your own.